Naruto, Clash of Ninja, Revolution. You play by yourself. You can change a fair you can you can you can enjoy the story by accomplishing missions. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to teach you sooner. But due to your lack of talent, we've wasted a lot of our time. You know how tough it is to teach a moron? Stop calling me a moron! You're one to talk, you pervy sage! Well now, is that the way you were taught to speak to your superiors, huh? <sighs> you... I really hate those who do not know how to show a little respect. Will you teach me? Will you teach me what? Please? Good. Now give me some of that sexy jutsu. Stop messing around! Just hurry up and teach me, you pervy sage! Huh. <laughs> well, I guess you're ready by now. I'll teach it to you. But you'll need to know the basics first. With you, kid, I get the feeling the basics are a little fuzzy. I remember everything! Well, even if you do, it won't be a bad idea to review the basics. We're pretty short on time here, though. It'll be faster just beating it into you rather than teaching you verbally. Well, shall we start beating the basics into that skull of yours with an actual match? Let's begin. Uh... All right! Here goes nothing, Pervy Sage! I have no time to play with you. Why don't you start with moving? Here, try it. Begin! Well, I guess that'll do. Moving is the basic of all basics. You can't call yourself a ninja without thought to the distance between you and your opponent. Next is attacking. Begin! Yeah! Even basic attacks have variations. You can attack while you're in the air or running too. Always keep in mind what you can do and make sure you can use it according to your situation. 
Now for the consecutive combo attacks. You can combine various attacks and perform them consecutively to overwhelm your opponent. Begin! If you succeed, you can severely damage them all at once. It's a good idea to keep those combo attacks in mind and know which situations you should use them in. Next are throws. Try throwing me. Begin! Opponents who are on guard are easy to throw. Once you throw your opponent, they become vulnerable. Keep an eye on them to follow up with additional attacks. Next is defending. I'll attack, so you try and defend against it. Ready? Begin! If you let your guard down, the opponent might knock off a tremendous amount of your strength. But you can't completely stop weapon attacks. You also can't guard against throws and certain jutsu either. There is a limit to your defense. Once you go over that limit, your defense will be broken and you'll lose a lot of chakra. So make sure you can use your attacks and defense wisely. If you can't guard and are about to take damage, you can use a substitution jutsu. I'll attack, so use a substitution to evade it. Ready? Begin! But substitution jutsu requires a certain amount of chakra. It's not an option you can use all the time, so choose when and where to use it wisely. Next, we'll work on breaking your fall. I'll throw you, so you can give it a try. Begin! When you're thrown in the air and you land, you may take more damage from additional attacks, so be sure to master this. I think you got the basics of moving down pretty well. But a ninja must do more than just be able to move. He must use his surroundings to his advantage. For example, let's see. You can use that. Hiding behind obstacles allows you to dodge attacks temporarily. But keep in mind, obstacles will break eventually. On the other hand, if your opponent hides behind an obstacle, you can break it and make them vulnerable. You can also surprise your opponent by attacking from behind an obstacle. Begin! Waiting for your opponent to let his guard down while you hide is another strategy. Well, if you find something you think you can use, try it out. There will be fences and cliffs in the stages you fight. For example, here you will find railings. You can knock your opponent into specific places and expand the stage you're fighting in at these locations. Here's your chance when this happens. You can follow up with mid-air attacks. Or you can get ahead of your opponent and inflict more damage to your opponent while they're still in mid-air. In your case, you'd be able to rush and charge your opponent to knock him away. So, for this time only, I made the railing red. Let's try it out first. Don't think too much about it. Just try knocking me toward that railing. Begin! figures out your move in mid-air. You'll fail your attack. It's not the end of the world, but be careful. 
Next we'll cover secret techniques. If you use the chakra you've accumulated, you can perform a powerful attack. Try it out first. Use all the chakra you currently have. This delivers unparalleled power and a finishing blow. Secret techniques allow an instant comeback, but the risks are high. If it's evaded or canceled by your opponent, you end up wasting your chakra, so think before you use it. For example, you could temporarily stun your opponent with an attack first, so he can't evade it. Well, I think this covers just about all the basics. Let's move on to our main subject. I'm sure you're tired by now. When your strength is low and you're in danger, an unexpected power can emerge in a pinch. For you especially, this is a key element. It's the red chakra you feel. You should be feeling it right this moment. Go on, unleash it. You may only be able to perform it when your strength is low. When used effectively, you can make an instant comeback. Looks like you're running out of steam. Maybe we should rest. Seems you've recovered now. You should be in good shape to use the advice that I've given you and practice them on me. Now give me all you've got. Begin! Every day. Hmm. Well, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Now, the rest is all up to you. You got it! Then, for the rest of the month, I'll just bust my buns. Hey. Uh, I guess training for so many consecutive days just wore him out. Suppose I can't blame him for falling asleep. Well, all that's left to say is good job, kid. <laughs>